Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Mr. Derrick Rose in the world of the NBA out on the court, of course. So we're going to go ahead and get some good old information on him and then jump right into, you know, checking him out while he does his thing on the court. So let's go ahead and start. All right, here we go. And I think like I'm starting to come down like some type of cold or something. I don't know. Hopefully not because I was out in the cold and my voice is like not, not, not good right now. But anywho, with that being said, let's get into what Mr. Derrick Rose looks like. So here he is here. Let's get a good photo of him. So there's Derrick Rose. Here he is there with a totally different hairstyle here as well so this is who i'm going to be taking a look at or looking out for when it comes to out on the basketball court um i know that you guys said that that is to protect against um nose injuries or to help while they have had one and to prevent it from happening again um anywho now let me go ahead and get some information on who he is all right so derrick rose See if they give us any middle name. Derek Martel Rose, born, born October 4th, 1988. Um, let's see here. He is American professional basketball player from the Minnesota Timberwolves of the NBA. Uh, what else do we have? What else? He's a point guard. And he is th currently 30, born in Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. He's African American, six foot three, 200 pounds. All these tall guys that run around in the NBA. Uh, high school, he went to Simeon Career Academy in Chicago, Illinois. And his college he went to was Memphis from 2007 to 2008. So he only went for a good year before he was drafted into the NBA in 2008. Round one, pick one. So he's just first period overall. Uh, selected by the Chicago Bulls. Playing career from 2008 till present. So he's still currently playing. He played for the Bulls from 2008 to 2016. For the Knicks from 16 to 17, Cavaliers from 17 to 18, and then present, the Timberwolves is where he now has as his home his home uh, team for now. Um, career highlights and awards. Well, not home team. His home team would be Chicago, but that's where he's found a new home with the Timberwolves. Anywho, highlights and awards. So NBA uh, Most Valuable Player in 2011, third-time NBA All-Star, all NBA first team in 2011. He's got NBA Rookie of the Year in 2009. A third time All American um, AP NABC in 2008. McDonald's All American in Illinois, Mr. Basketball. And let's see, we have some medals with him. Play men's basketball in the FIBA World Cup. Two golds, one in 2010 with Turk in Turkey, and one in 2014 um, in Spain. So it's a little bit of, you know, just information that he's gotten a lot of his accomplishments and where he's been at a little background on him for me some of you guys already know it and you guys are who helped me but um i love this little portion for me but now we're gonna go ahead and jump into seeing him in action so let's go ahead and do that the numbers i have for d rose are so amazing you know, he was the best guy in the league to make those little shortcuts in the lane those quick little fast-paced moves stretched out that was brilliant that we were surprised at seeing with their growth. Because like a hammer. MVP whose career you fear will be cut short. Fast. Did you see how he just exploded on that? And then the explosion to the rim. The pick and roll and then finish over the top at the Look at him, just breaks out. Wow. Overall draft pick and a former MVP, but have we seen the last of Derek Rose? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's like a bomb going off. Dude is explosive. Really? <laughs> no, they did not. Like, first of all, that's my show, Game of Thrones. That is my show. <laughs> That's the actual footage of Derrick Rose in high school. <laughs> they are a mess. <laughs> Straight silly. 
pick since 1999. We think we know where they're going. With the first pick in the 2008 NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select Derrick Rose from the University of Memphis. He was the guy everyone used to love to love. You know, they're the love-to-hate guys, and there are a couple athletes here and there who everyone seems to love to love. That was Derrick Rose. Oh, he said, give me my ball back. And that's gone forever along with the player he used to be. He's so hard to defend because, first off, he has the mock. Oh, wow. Look how he just contorts his body. And he what? has a tremendous ball handling, so he can get anywhere on the floor at any time. Mm. Oh, wow. He will take that last shot. He is not afraid of taking the last shot. That's what superstar players do. Look at him. It's about to go down. Oh. What? Love to love. I get it. I get it. This Windy is City why Assassin. He's obsessed with. He's tortured by trying to carry this team to a post Michael Jordan championship. Just one championship. City. A team without and him, and he was he was what was next for them, I guess. Boom! Perfect timing. Oh, beautiful. Wow. So many people feel like wow. could be the most valuable player in the league this season. Let's not forget when he was 22 years old and won the MVP. The following season, before he got hurt, he was better. Ooh. He was progressing, and his team was now more of a pure point guard than he had been even when he won the MVP. He was amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. All of those defenders in front of him. And he goes straight to the basket no matter who. I get it. I get it. MVP, I get it. Goodness. Look at how he just drops down. He lands on one foot. straight palms the ball, slaps the mess out of it. He does his amazing spin moves. Like, he's just straight up great. He might, he... I understand you wrote the frustration, right? MVP of this league. Goodness, yeah. He might just be the most athletic point guard I've seen so far. I mean, of course, I cannot, I, I can't, him and Iverson, I can't forget about Iverson, of course not, of course not, after seeing him, but goodness, goodness. You're at the top of your game, and then you have an injury, and it's all a downhill from there, you never yep. recover, I can relate to that. And this is the guy who is, what Russell Westbrook is right now, he's the most athletic point guard in the NBA that we've really ever seen. Then he has this catastrophic injury, and he's never fully the same. 
Sam holding on to his knee, holding oh. on to his knee and down. To become sort of a uh, you know, shadow of, of his uh, former self, uh, seems like it's taken a toll on him. Oh, Derek Rose out for the indefinite future, definitely for the rest of the season, it appears. That look is on about everybody's face here. That, that, that epitomizes that people are. That's why one hit People felt like they were on their way. We go deep in the playoffs, maybe make a run for the respective championships, and now. You can't have the same thing that you could say just as recent as 24 hours ago. Wow. At the top, Chris Lack lost his dribble. Got it back. Joe Oh. Ha. Look at how he just adjusts his shot in so many ways. He's like going over to the left. He's going over to the right. Under a block. He moves. He steps out. Like he's just... He's the answer, for sure. Well, not the answer. I know Iverson's the answer, but I mean, he was what they needed while there was no Jordan on this team. It's almost like he doesn't believe that he can decline. So the Chicago Bulls, according to Windhorst, are moving on Derrick Rose. So don't get mad at me. I know he's not the answer, guys. real reason, help for me, to be optimistic about Derrick Rose can what he can be for the next. And this does not look good. It looks painful. Derrick oh. Rose had his seventh major injury. Derrick right. Rose has missed 212 in four seasons and played one of seven. It's actually, for Lakers being fouled by the two of your elbows, Derrick yeah. Rose in the face. Rose is in some pain right now. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. Tom Meniscus sprained left man, ankle, left, left adductor strains, so or legs sprained knee. There was brilliance that we were deprived of seeing uh, as long as we wanted to see it here in Chicago. But it seems like he never stops fighting to be great, though. But, goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh Derrick Rose's game is predicated on athleticism. Yeah. He's an amazing athlete. Year after year after year in Chicago, where he's like the guy who's supposed to return into glory, like Michael Jordan. Right. Monster dunk. Oh my goodness. There grows. Like, I'm just taken back by how skilled and powerful and explosive and amazing he was as a player. And it sucks. It really sucks that someone's so good. And I know the Bulls, after you have somebody like Jordan on your team, and he's this amazing player, and then he leaves, and then you guys are looking for someone to give that back. The, you know, Chicago, they were looking for someone to give that that back, that that hope, that faith. And then you get someone like Derrick Rose and you're like, okay, this is it. This is our guy. This is the guy that's going to take us there. This is the guy that's going to do it. And he's out here doing stuff like this. Freaking amazing. All your hopes and loves and hearts as fans are in back in the team and back in him. And he has so many injuries and no one plans injuries. No one knows they're ha gonna happen. No one knows when they're gonna happen and what turn it's gonna take on your career and on your body. And I mean, in his prime, he was a straight up monster. And it sucks that he had to suffer injuries that, you know, caused him to probably, you know, he's now on different teams and who knows where his career would have gone if he had no injuries or no bad ones that would have affected, affected him or his game. But either way it goes, regardless, I like how he never let up. I like how he still always continued to fight and strive to be great because he was great. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you guys have not. Hit the bell so you guys get reminders as well. And then check down in the description box so you guys can get my Twitter and my Instagram. Instagram is new, so I need all you guys over there as well. So join me there, and I will see you guys next time.